Thank you for joining me for the C2C cluster stitch tutorial. This is another stitch of my C2C different crochet stitches series. You can see the beautiful clusters we have in this stitch. The only difference is that we are working it from one corner to the other. You can find more C2C different crochet stitches in my YouTube channel. This uh, written pattern is also available for free on my blog made by Guti. And the PDF pattern is available also with a rectangle version on Etsy and Ravelry. So let's start. I'm using the tulip crochet hook, knit picks this yarn, and also I'm using stitch markers for help and identifying the chain at the beginning and the end of the rows. So we start with chain four. Then we will work into the third chain of the hook. We will work one single crochet. I'm working in US terms. So one single crochet and one the double crochet cluster stitch, which is worked like this. We start as a normal double crochet. We yarn over, insert the hook into the chain, pull up the yarn, then we pull the yarn through only two loops and we we'll repeat again. We yarn over, insert the hook into the chain, the same chain, pull the, up the yarn, then we yarn over and pull the yarn through only two loops. So we started two double crochet stitches, but we didn't finish them. Now we have three loops on the hook. So we yarn over and pull the yarn through all three loops. And this is the cluster stitch. So this was row one. Now we turn and we chain three for row two. And I advise to place a stitch marker in the chain three so it will be easier next row to find it, to find it. Now we will work one single crochet in, into the first uh, double crochet cluster stitch. And we will work a double crochet cluster stitch into the next single crochet stitch. So again, we yarn over, insert the hook into the single crochet stitch, pull up the yarn, then we yarn over and pull the yarn through only two of the loops. And we don't complete this double crochet stitch, we start again. Yarn over, insert the hook into the same single crochet stitch, pull up the yarn, yarn over, and pull the yarn through only two loops. So we have three loops on the hook, we yarn over and pull the yarn through all three loops. Now we will work into the chain three of the first row and I forgot to place my stitch marker. So we are working one single crochet into the chain three space and another double crochet stitch into the same space. So for row two, we have the starting chain three space, one single crochet, one double crochet cluster stitch, another one single crochet and one double crochet into the chain three space. And we turn. Now I chain three again and I will place the stitch marker. This is row three and we will repeat this row later. Now I will walk one single crochet into the first double crochet stitch. And a double cluster stitch into the next single crochet. The cluster stitches are all, always worked into the single crochet stitches. And now I will repeat. I'm working one single crochet into the top of the double crochet cluster stitch. 
and one double crochet cluster stitch into the next single crochet stitch. Now I will remove my marker and I will walk one single crochet and one double crochet into the chain 3 space. So we always finish with a one single crochet and one double crochet into the chain 3 space. Okay, now I will turn and we are repeating row 3 until we have our desired length of the work. And let's repeat. I am working one single crochet into the top of the double crochet stitch, the first stitch. Work your single crochet a little tighter to make the cluster stitch pop out more out of your fabric. Now work a double crochet cluster stitch into the next single crochet stitch. And we're repeating. We work one single crochet into the next cluster stitch and a cluster stitch into the next single crochet stitch. This is your repeat section and again one single crochet into the cluster stitch and one cluster stitch into the single crochet stitch. We repeat until the chain 3 space. Then we will work one single crochet and one double crochet stitch into this, this chain 3 space. So I will repeat a couple more times. You can see we have these cute cluster stitches popping out. So let's repeat. Chain 3. Place your marker. It's optional, of course. It, it will be more useful in the decrease part. Then work one single crochet into the first double crochet stitch and a double cluster stitch into the next single crochet stitch. And now we repeat one single crochet into, sorry my, my cat is scratching the door, uh, one single crochet into the next double crochet cluster stitch and one double crochet cluster stitch into the next single crochet stitch. Let's repeat. Now we reached the chain 3 space, so we will remove the marker and walk one single crochet and one double crochet into the space. So you can see. Just repeat this row until you reach your desired length of the work and then we will start to decrease. Okay, so let's start decreasing. For the decrease row, we start with a chain 2, not chain 3. And we replace the stitch marker. For the decrease part, it's much more helpful to use the stitch marker. Now we will skip the first double crochet stitch and the next single crochet. And we will work one single crochet into the next double crochet cluster stitch. Now we start the repeat section. We work one double crochet cluster stitch into the next single crochet and one single crochet 
into the next double crochet stitch. So our repeat for the decrease row is a first double crochet cluster stitch and then the single crochet stitch. So we repeat these two uh, stitches and we are finishing with one single crochet. Not like uh, the increase row where we finished with cluster stitch. So let's repeat. We work until the last single crochet of the previous row, but we don't work into it. So we finish with one single crochet while we still have a single crochet from the previous row, as you can see, and the chain three space. So now we will work double crochet two together into these two stitches. So we start with yarn over, insert your hook into the single crochet stitch, pull up the yarn, then yarn over, and pull the yarn through only two of the loops. Now we yarn over again, insert the hook into the chain three space, pull up the yarn, then yarn over, pull the yarn through only two of the loops. Now we have three loops on the hook, yarn over, and pull the yarn through all three loops. It's very similar to the double crochet cluster stitch, but here we decrease the stitch. We don't work into the same stitch like the cluster stitch. So now we turn and we chain two again. This is the repeat row for the decrease part. So you will repeat this row until you have only one cluster stitch left. So now, now you are skipping the first double crochet stitch and the next single crochet stitch and work one single crochet into the next double crochet cluster stitch. And now we start the repeat section. We work one cluster stitch into the next single crochet stitch and one single crochet into the next cluster stitch. So we repeat and we are finishing with one with one single crochet stitch. See we are finishing now with one single crochet. And we have the one single crochet from the previous row and we are working one double crochet to together into the next single crochet and the next chain two space. So this is row five, it's the repeat row for the decrease part and we will keep repeating this row until we have one last cluster stitch left in our row. Okay, I'm re I am repeating the decrease row, which is row five in the pattern. Placing this, I'm chaining two, then placing the stitch marker. Let's repeat it again. We are skipping the neck, the first double crochet two together, and the next single crochet stitch. Then we will work the one single crochet into the next cluster stitch. Then we work a cluster stitch into the next single crochet and work one single crochet into the next double crochet cluster stitch and we repeat. And now I have left one single crochet from the previous row and the chain two space and now I will work the decrease double crochet stitch. And we turn. Now chain two again. Skip the first two stitches, the 
double crochet two together in the next single crochet and work one single crochet into the cluster stitch now work one cluster stitch into the single crochet stitch and another single crochet now I have the single crochet and chain two space and I will work the double crochet two together and turn now you can see that I have only one cluster stitch here so I will chain two place my marker and I am skipping the first double crochet two together the next single crochet and I am working one single crochet into the next sing double crochet cluster stitch and then work the double crochet two together straight away I don't have a cluster stitch in this row I'm working into the single crochet and into the chain two space and then we turn and this is our last row I'm chaining one this time and then I will work single crochet two together into the single crochet stitch and the chain two space so I'm skipping the double crochet two together and I will insert my hook into the next single crochet pull up the yarn insert my hook into the chain two space and pull up the yarn now I will pull the yarn through all three loops and that's it this is how we finish this stitch and you can see we have the form of a square and again this is the big swatch so this stitch is Really, it's perfect for blankets. It makes very, very soft blanket, and it's great for wash clothes or dish clothes. It's very nice. It's kind of thick, but it's still soft because of the clusters. And I hope you enjoy this tutorial. You can find it, the full written uh, instructions on my blog made by Guti. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.